the Nigerian uh, police database has been hacked by anonymous group and um, they've also given President Mohamed Buhari 72 hours to comply with the NSA's demand or face the consequences and of course the video has been flying online and of course uh, you get to see the video right here and uh, I hope uh, this uh, does not turn out to become a war but of course it is high time that Nigeria gains another independence enough is enough because if you see what is going on in Nigeria you will know indeed that these people are living in slavery in their own country because definitely things have gone so wrong to the extent that if anybody speaks or challenges the government of the day you're likely to be in cell or to be in jail but you know this time they are very ready and a lot of help has been coming from foreign countries and from every part of the world and of course that is what nigerian youths have actually been waiting for and now they are getting that recognition and uh, of course it will also affect everyone in the country so they should just brace up and expect and you know embrace this change that is about to happen because definitely you know power is not given power is taken if things have gotten this far and things have gotten really wrong in the country, definitely it needs a serious attention and it needs a serious uh, 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 repair and reformation. And that is what the youths are fighting for. And good that this anonymous group have said that they have hacked the Nigerian police database. And all of the secret things that have been going on in Buhari's office and everything, that he, they are going to expose all of this. And of course, he would want to resign. So he shouldn't get to that point. But they should rather just agree on some of the things that these young men have actually uh, given them. That they have 72 hours ultimatum to grant the request of the protesters in Nigeria. Anyway, guys, I'll bring you more details of this. And I'm very sure you want to see this video because, uh, of course, you want to listen to exactly what uh, the anonymous group said and what they did uh, in Nigeria. Anyway, guys, before then, please ensure you hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell. Death of its citizen gunned down by the accused police. This proved the level of brutality caused by the police and the government who have both violated the right of the citizens. Irrespective of tribe, race, disheartening that you won't bring to justice every police who have involved in killing of the protesters due to the deep secret that caused the loyalties that lies between you and the people in your government. This is not a threat, this is a peaceful warning from us. You have 72 HRS to hear and assure your citizens. Your time starts now. Remember, we are watching. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. So the dreaded activist group Anonymous has reportedly hacked database of the Nigerian police, revealed their details, and issued President Muhammad Buhari a 72-hour ultimatum to grant the request of the NSAS protesters or face the consequences. The Anonymous group also claimed to have hacked several government websites as protests against the police brutality in Nigeria. This is coming in the wake of ongoing NSAS protests across the country against the SAS and SWAC tactical units of the Nigerian police force over its brutality, illegal arrest, extortion, extrajudicial killings, amongst others. Anonymous had created a dedicated Twitter handle for its Nigerian operation on October 5, 2020, warning the president, Buhari, to heed the demands of the protesters. And said, listen to the people at Muhammad Buhari, the world is watching. Answers, answers brutality, answers protest. And, uh, you know, that was it. The, ha the hacktivist handled, ended its message five days ago by telling the Nigerian government to expect us. Last night, October 15, Anonymous revealed that it has been, it has successfully hacked multiple government websites in solidarity with Nigerians for the violence of the police against protesters and Nigerians uh, said anonymous hack multiple government websites in solidarity with NSAS protesters and retribution for violence by police 
Although they did not specify which websites were hacked, the Nigerian police website was down at about 12.21 a.m. on Thursday. Anonymous also released several information including names, addresses, emails, and bank accounts of SARS police officers across the country. And right here is the video. Okay, guys, you've seen the video, but uh, a lot of people also said uh, that is the CEO, Jack Elliott, today showed support for the NSAS protest. And uh, again, the legendary Legion Anonymous have given Nigerian government 72 hours to end police brutality. What a time to tell our leaders power belongs to the people. So that is to say uh, SWAT and SAS must end immediately. And uh, another said... Uh, and a lot of Nigeria actually retweeted that. Uh, and uh, one said, what a time to be alive, Anonymous. They hacked the police server and released all private information on the force and have given the government 72 hours to reply or face the consequences. And SWAT, Anonymous also has hacked SARS and released names, phone numbers, and emails. Of these men, just look for one name you don't like here. Call the number and swear for him. <laughs> Nigerians, Nigeria have never been this happy in a long time. So that's where, you know, young Nigerians speaking up with one voice and speaking up with their minds. So this is a revolution that is going on in the country because definitely we all know that there will be more help coming from different, different angles to help the Nigerian youth to actualize their dreams. Because this is a dream that um, would actually uh, come to materialization. And of course, the children of tomorrow will indeed enjoy the Nigeria of uh, today that the youths will fight for no more Nigerians flying out of their country and running for their own lives in their own country. Remind, imagine what goes on in the IDP camps where people are homeless, where they fled from their homes because of terrorism and terrorists and had to be kept where they feel okay. Their security agencies, their security personnel right here, we should feel safe and feel better. Rather, they are being used as slaves. They are being used as sex slaves in their own country. In place of food, they are giving sex. Young girls of nine years old, six, seven years old, are being married out to some of these soldiers. They impregnate them and send them away and all of that. This is, it is so, so, so terrible. I remember some of the testimonials that some of these guys were giving that were relating to this uh, SAS thing. Some of them said that while they were taken to prison for no reason, that once they come in, they are so excited that they want to kill some people. They just feel, oh, this cell is too full. We need to reduce the numbers of people in this cell. All they just have to do is just to pick three or four people from the cell and take them to maybe a bush site or maybe a water site and just waste their lives. This is not, when, when you are not even dealing with a, uh, uh, insurgents you are dealing with security operatives that are supposed to protect the lives and citizens and the properties of the citizens of the country but rather it is not so they suffer all of this you know just for things to change but things keep getting worse and now the youths are, are tired and they have to face whatever have to come and i believe this is a revolution that everybody will enjoy so i will still implore everyone to please tweets and also put on your social media handles that this must end bad governance must end in nigeria so my people thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you and also give this video a thumbs up do have a pleasant time bye